is changing. Nice location to see the aircraft. In fact, it's better. It's a better place to see the aircraft, actually. Look, this is where I usually am on that hill here, and that is where I am near this. Right, you are right up close to the aircraft. I thought this was a great place to watch the planes take off and land for you all to see. And that was when, in Airport 5, I believe, was where I found a pilot who actually waved back at the camera. So I thought, Interesting. What if I set out a competition? Which I did. And it was fun. And if you're still up to date with the competition, the Boars versus the Wavers, you all know that the Boars are winning 2 0. So now I will continue this month's. Boars versus the waivers. This flyby plane doesn't count because, as you can see, it's taxiing on the tan. 
tarmac of the runway. So that one doesn't count. That Thomas Cook airline was the fourth aircraft, which means Spitfire has blown the whistle to say that it's now half time. If I didn't mention this before, I will mention it again. The in the Spores versus the Wavers competition, there are two halves. Yes, two halves, and that Thomas Cook aircraft signaled the end of the first half because it was the end. It was the fourth aircraft to be filmed. There will be a short break, that's when, and then Spitfire will <coughs> blow her whistle to signal us that it's the start of the second and final half. First plane is coming. First plane of the second half. I'm lucky this isn't this doesn't count because it's on the hand tarmac of the runway. Now this is a first. We have a problem. As you can see there, on the silver side of the tarmac of the runway, that has now been closed off. So this is what the runway team did. They basically blocked the silver bit of the runway here. So this is where they usually go. They either come from down that direction or this area here. They usually come round to here, like so. Then they make a turn towards this side of the runway here. But, because it's blocked, what they could have done was continue going down here. Continue going down here. And these would come down there. But for some strange reason, they blocked that bit area as well. It's going to go into the tarmac, the sand one. And it's unlikely it's going to wave back.
car park, my old friend. I've come to stand on you again. I am now at the destination where filming the Manchester Airport series began. Right here in this car park. Yes. As you see right here, this is the, you know, where I usually film the planes taxiing or taking off like this. EasyJet plane is doing what this KLM plane is doing. The main reason why uh, I moved away from here was because when planes took off down this side, obstacles were in the way. This building, for instance. And when I filmed planes landing, this building was in the way of them, you know, putting their wheels down and things like that. Couldn't really film them landing properly. Well, I don't know what the future of this building is. Is it going to be demolished? Is it going to stay? In my honest opinion, if it does get demolished, I wouldn't be surprised really. I mean, sure, it's been gr wonderful and great to film here. It was just the obstacles that were in the way. So, this is where I end off now. The future of the Manchester Airport series lays in your hands. What should I do to make the series better? Because choices are I continue with the Boars versus Waver the Boars versus the Wavers competition for three months, October, November, December, and maybe if the waivers happen to come back from 2-0 down, what would happen then? And there's the other option where I start the whole competition again next year from January and see what happens there. It's like I said, ever since I moved location to Runway Visitors Park, the popularity of this series has become a mess. Because when I filmed up here, the popularity of it was high. The most popular one was the first one, strangely enough. Why? Maybe because you didn't see these planes before? Or was it because I filmed my hobbies because back in the day I used to come up here and watch the planes by binoculars so and I just thought I'd show them to you and it just hit me like a bug and it wasn't until airport, airport 6 no airport 5 that I discovered Runways Visitors Park. That's where it was filmed for the first time. And ever since then, ever since then, the popularity of my series has plummeted. Now I, I don't know what you want. I really don't know what you want in this series. You see the planes. You see the models. I just feel like, is it time to end it? Is it time for it to go? The series is in your hoops or hands. So I'm going to end this video now like I do with all my T-Log videos.
by saying Brohoof and goodbye.